Ow! It don't stop. There's no wind, but the Ultrex has to keep correcting us because the fish and the hook sets are making the boat move all over. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? There's no words. It's one of those days where it's magical. You enjoy every cast because this they could just turn off and it's done. And the rest of the day can be tough. Right now though, it's bang, bang. Let's see how many we can put in the boat. We weeded through those smaller ones, and now we're getting some quality fish. See that jig in there? Let's keep her going. Choked again. They are thumping it. I mean, your line just pops, knocking slack in it. Goodness. I am so happy I get to share this morning on the water with you guys. <laughs> if you like our content, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the like button, help us out. We'll keep putting out this content. Hopefully you can pick up some tips. Some episodes you can just enjoy fish catches like this one. That's a good one there. They launched. Holy smokes. It's making the spot lock work. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, wow. Choked, straight up choking it.
that is a stud right there. <laughs> at that point that's rock solid unless we have 50 pounds of weeds buried in it we will find out boy it's surging nice wow that's just a dead pull what do we have here Oh, nice bass. With some weeds stuck to it. Oh. oh, that's a dandy. Oh, that curly cabbage usually gets super thick out here and then it dies off and mats up. Well, this year everything's way behind with that late spring and it's just starting to grow and it's not thick. And those fish are up in there just rooting up crayfish and little sunfish. Not often a guy is lucky enough to find a spot like this where it is every cast. We're approaching an hour and a half and it's been day near every single cast, a bite multiple bites and misses they're grabbing and just running with it but wow out of words just i guess enjoy the fish catching there i put that swim jig up there Right over the top of those weeds up in about a foot of water. That fish just throttled it. <clears throat> Give them a different look. You know, I kind of, I made four or five casts with that regular jig and they stopped. So I switched it up and got bit. Here's an all train swim jig. Okay, up a little shallower again. Oh, they pushed right back up to that really, really shallow sand. You can see it with your eyes and glasses. It is shallow up there where they're at. If you were standing on the shore, you'd be able to see them swimming around on it. Okay, now my swim jig rod here, it's that Mega Bastamus Destroyer. 40 pound braid like always and usually I throw that grub but I'm using this other plastic so it stays on there I don't have to re-rig it 150 times because this bite is so crazy I'd go through $100 worth of plastic okay so we're gonna mix up a little bit here we spent about five to ten minutes only had one bite that doesn't sound like a lot on a lot of days but the way they were biting something changed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move out off of this point onto the flat, look for some clumps of weeds, use the Mega 360 and the Mega Live to pinpoint those areas, see the fish moving, make precise casts, and then put some more fish in the boat, hopefully. So we're just gonna pull ahead here, 50 yards, 100 yards, cover the flat, look for the weeds. Let's get out there and see if we can find some fish and put some in the boat.